Hi there. Time for another package, and uh, you've seen Kit Chicken, I guess. And the uh, chicken is going to be sitting in the chair. Uh, package from England. And I think I'll open up this side. The, the magical floating camera is capable of producing vocal sounds. Yep. Was it a bit of laughter that I hear? Hear, hear, heard, <laughs> heard. What's inside? Ah, newspapers. A whole shitload of newspapers. So this is a, a British package and it's been wrapped in a Dutch, no Dutch, German Amazon box or is it just an international Amazon box? It's not from Amazon. How many minutes is, is there still in the camera? Seven minutes. Says the magical floating camera. Right. Whoa. I believe this has been packaged well. And of course, I'm going to put back the packaging material. It's a big box within a box, which is very nice. And for people curious what this will be, Perhaps my followers on Twitter uh, will know what it is, and you will know what it is if you see this row of red function keys. Ah. Well, it's, it's, it has been read exceptionally well. I'm really impressed and it's looking it's somewhat of a lesser quality than the uh, than the other system from the same manufacturer I got uh, a little while ago from the retro clinic let me see where's that It's always funny to see that people are opening up the boxes with sharp utensils like this or a knife and then end up actually tearing at the plastic, uh, totally forgetting that they are using this heavy utensil. I guess out of yeah, being afraid that they might damage the system. So this is a system that was supposed to be working in regular use, uh, well, up till a couple of years ago, so it has been in use. And this is a BBC master system from Acorn Computers. And this is the, <laughs> the enhanced version of uh, of the BBC microcomputer. Uh, it's a shame that this uh, it doesn't have the bezel, uh, but the keys are in really nice condition, and so is the machine. The good thing about it is the cursor keys are actually in quite a handy uh, configuration. It has two cartridge ports, um, memory. It did, this comes with 128 kilobytes of RAM, and the on the back you got very similar. Uh, you got the Econet, which is a internet. Uh, you got an audio out, which is also different uh, than from the um, from the BBC. You got a cassette port, RS four to three a serial port, analog. This is a joystick port, RGB, which is the same as the um, is is the same as the uh, the BBC uh, model seven. Composite video, which will only output. I think this model also only output in monochrome, UHF to have it on the video, and power supply, 
and a cable. Well, the only thing that could be wrong with it is that the caps in the uh, in the power supply have uh, have uh, dried up. So uh, yeah, I might I may have to replace those uh, in the near future. But this is a very nice system, and perhaps I'll show I should compare it to the other system that I got. And I will approach the camera and hopefully the camera will not fall backwards. <laughs> the camera has lost all sorts of motor control. Now this little system. Okay. For some reason I want to bring a... Oh, and this tube processor and the disk drive is all for use with the uh, BBC. Oops. But here you have the regular BBC B, and this is the master system. And you could actually say, well, this is the Commodore 64 with half its memory, and this is the Commodore 128. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a bit more yellowed, but the keys are, are, are just as, as nice. It's a very nice looking machine and I totally love, I totally love these function keys. I think they look absolutely cool. Don't you think? Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Well, I think this, uh, the boring bit is over and uh, I'll hook it up and uh, yeah, play some of that. Okay, so here we have the BBC Master System and the data center is included and this is actually a USB drive connected to the cable that comes from the back. So let's switch it on. And hopefully my horrible television will, yes. So I will say get 5, that'll that'll bring up the uh, the directory of the uh, of the USB drive so and then I'll just do import elite for example so it'll import it into the RAM drive if I press cat this is the well, this is the Elite uh, drive that has been imported, so uh, if I do it will boot up Elite <laughs> Oh yeah, very clever way of fitting the LED actually, it's above the speaker, I didn't want to drill a hole and I thought, you know, it's very nice to have the LED in there <laughs> yeah. On Monday, BBC Master computer and I just had my butt's internet inside. Mark signing off, and I'll be back with another video soon.